Hello everyone. If you've been following us, you know that I've been concerned about our water use in the RV. We shared a video recently concerning the hard water issue that we had and how on-the-go portable water softener came to the rescue and helped us correct that problem. I'll link that video in the description down below. The next water issue I wanted to improve was my water filtration in the RV. You know, while traveling throughout the country, visiting all these RV parks, we never really know where the water is coming from in some of these parks. I mean, some are connected to a well, and some are connected to the uh, municipal system. So water filtration is an important topic for us to consider as RVers. Now, I'm no water expert. I'm not a water engineer. I'm not degreed in the subject in any way. I simply try to educate myself about water through reading and some limited research. But I would tell you that in the past, Clay and I have used a lot of bottled water. Bottled water for our juices, for our teas, for coffee, as well as certainly for drinking. Well, we wanted to reduce or even eliminate the need for bottled water altogether, but I simply didn't trust the water coming into my RV with the current filtration system that I have, which is basically the whole house filtration system, which is located in our wet bay. And ours typically uses a 5.0 micron filter, which isn't bad. A 5.0 micron filter is supposed to remove rust and sediment, sediment being the loose sand and clay and silt, as well as other uh, soil particles that settle in the bottom of our water. Now, what's a micron? Well, that is a unit of measurement in the metric system. It equals one thousandth of a millimeter. So we're talking very, very small. The good news is the RV market has plenty of water filters for us to choose from with different price points and budgets. Some are better than others. And from what I've learned, the key component that we as RVers need to be aware of is what is the micron size that that filter would allow a particulate to pass through. For example, a filter that traps, let's say down to 20 microns. It's not gonna filter out things like Gerardia, which are small parasites that are found in our water supply. And I understand that cysts like Girardi are typically between seven and 10 microns in size, and it can cause us to be very sick. Those filters again at the 20 level, 20 micron level, is certainly not gonna filter out E. coli, which is somewhere between one and two microns in size. So the smaller the micron size of the filter means that it's catching more potential bad things that would be ordinarily passing through. And hey, the average human hair is around 70 microns. So again, we're talking very, very small. This water filtration system was sent to me by ClearSource. Again, it's their ultra system with VirusGuard. I'll put a link to their website down below and also mention the specifications of this unit. Now, what I like about this particular product is that as the RV park water enters the system, it gets filtered in three different stages. In stage one filtration, the water passes through their 5.0 micron filter. And as mentioned earlier, this level of filter is supposed to remove and reduce rust and sediment. Then the water enters their second stage of filtration, which has a 0.5 micron coconut shell carbon block filter. More on what that means down below in the notes. Now, according to ClearSource, this will improve taste and smell because it removes or reduces the chlorine, the volatile organic compounds, which are chemicals that are commonly found in household and industrial products, including gasoline, solvents, cleaners, degreasers, paints, inks, I mean, you sort of name it, pesticides, all that can make its way into our water supply. Then the water travels through their third stage, which is their virus guard filter. They've used some NASA technology with this particular filter, and it should remove or reduce bacteria like E. coli, cysts like Gerardia that we mentioned earlier. ClearSource says that no other RV water filter on the market provides anything close to the level of this protection. I will tell you that this system really does seem to be built well. It has a rugged powder coated metal chassis, stainless steel fittings here. And by the way, the unit does come with a wrench so that you can remove these canisters to replace your filter. And speaking of replacement filters, these are supposed to filter some 2000 gallons of water. The company says for the occasional camper, an annual replacement's fine. For the frequent weekender, they recommend replacing twice a year. And for us full-timers, they recommend replacing every two to three months. And the price 
of all three replacement filters is $70. Now let's talk about water flow. With these large canisters, the water flow output should be around four and a half gallons a minute. So we're about to connect this up and we'll you know, run it through its paces and then we'll go inside and check to see if the water flow changes any. Or if it does, I may just up my water pressure a little bit. Okay, I think the way I'm gonna hook this up right now is just temporary. And there's an extra water hose I've got and here's the water source. By the way, the, you may recognize that that's the on-the-go uh, portable water softener. And my instructions are from them is to make sure I put my water filtration in front of the water softener. So, so I'm going to disconnect my water softener from my pressure regulator. Hook up this hose to my water spigot pressure regulator and water spigot. Then I'm gonna take the other end and connect it to the inlet side of the clear source system. Okay, we got the system set up. Now, according to instructions, we wanna run water through these filters uh, up to 60 seconds just on the outlet side, just so we can flush the filters out. So let's do that. Turn it on the water. The canisters are filling up. There we go. All right, let me put a timer on this. Okay, that's about a minute. Let me cut the water off. All right, now I'm going to connect the water softener to the clear source for water filtration. All right. Put the water back on. And we're up to 42, 44 PSI on my pressure regulator. All right, so now let's go inside and see if it has any impact on the water flow. Okay, we're here at the RV. Let's check the water flow now. All right, so we got everything set up and you saw in the RV that the water flow appeared to be normal. Uh, we're really hoping that this clear source ultra with virus guard helps get us off of bottled water, our dependency on bottled water. So we're certainly gonna be putting this thing to the test. We certainly appreciate and wanna thank clear source for sending this to us and allow us to use this. Let's talk about price for this particular unit. This clear source ultra with virus guard is not cheap it's 499 dollars and on the go portable water softener actually sells the clear source ultra with the water softener as a combo package i'll also put that link down below so i think we have corrected our water issues again thanks to clear source and on the go for helping us get here see you in the next video guys take care